the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 19.3 1 Samuel 15-16 Saul's abuse of political power Saul disobeyed the will of God who commanded him to completely destroy the Amalekites, and so God chose David as the next king. First point, the way of Amalek's life had not changed in the past 500 years. The Amalekites were those who attacked the weaker people who fell behind during Exodus. Thus, God told the Israelites not to forget about the Amalekites. God told the Israelites to kill them once they settled into Canaan. 500 years from then, Israel had grown into a strong community on the shore. It was time for the people to put an end to the Amalekites. The Amalekites not only attacked Israel during Exodus, but they continued to attack them all throughout the next 500 years. So, God of Justice commanded that they be punished for their actions. Saul attacked the Amalekites and seized victory, but he failed to obey God completely. Saul did not annihilate them as God had commanded. Saul now cared more about his image to the people of Israel, more so than obeying God. He had moved away from God and started living according to his will. Second point, Samuel and Saul left each other. Saul's disappointing moment can be found when he refused to accept his mistakes and made the people of Israel bear the responsibility. He did not repent and only cared about how he appeared to the people. He even went as far as erecting an honorary statue for himself after the battle with the Amalekites. Moreover, Saul called the people his people rather than acknowledging them as God's people in a kingdom of priests. Thus, God made up his mind to put an end to Saul's monarchy. Third point. Saul, who now had nothing holding him back, had no reason not to kill Samuel in order to maintain his power. When Samuel found out that God had decided to put an end to Saul's monarchy, Samuel grieved for a whole day. So God said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him king over Israel? Fill your hold with oil and be on your way. I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chose one of his sons to be king. But Samuel replied, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. This shows how, since Saul and Samuel left each other, Saul had been using his political powers to spy on Samuel's every move. Amid such danger, Samuel went to Bethlehem. But when the elders of Bethlehem saw Samuel, they were unable to hide their fear. Why did the elders show fear? This was because Saul had been exerting fearful politics. The entire land knew about how much Saul had changed. This shows why Samuel hesitated before going to Bethlehem. Fourth point, Jesse raised all his sons to be suitable as a king in a kingdom of priests. A historical day arrived for the household of Jesse in Bethlehem. When Samuel saw Jesse's first son, he was greatly impressed. 
He also saw the last of Jesse's sons, and he was very impressed. But God rejected all of them. Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? And so Jesse replied, There is still the youngest. He is tending the sheep. So Samuel called for him and said that he would not eat until he arrived. Because of this, Jesse stopped everything and had David come to the house. David was tending sheep when he was called. When he came in, he was appointed as king. To David, this was an unforeseeable instant, but to God, this had been in the works for a while. Fifth point, David protected his father's property and God's people with his sling and stones. David spent his teen years tending sheep in the fields. He used his time to protect his father's flock by practicing slinging stones. He had practiced so much that he had the skill to hit exactly where he aimed. David, with his refined skills, was able to protect Israel. Such a foot of David was what made God choose him as king. God knew that David would protect God's property, the way David protected his father Jesse's property. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 